Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, quick video today on slingshots and the best slingshot for a beginner, in my opinion. Um, <coughs> other people may have different opinions. Before I tell you what I think the best slingshot or type of slingshot for a beginner is, we'll have a look at different type of slingshots. Um, first of all, let's look at band attachments, something to consider when buying. There's two main ways of attaching flat bands. We've got wrap and tuck, where you use a bit of elastic to wrap and tuck back the end and secure it, or there's clamps. There's different type of clamps. The Dan Layton one here has got some metal clamps with two bolts, and then there's ones like the Wasp, which has got plastic clamps with one bolt, Lots of different makers use different clamps. The other type of attachment is a different thing altogether, tubes. We've got looped tubes which can wrap around, or we've got bead stuck tubes, where there's a bead stuck in the tube and it locks into the hole when you want to change it. Pull it out, you get new tubes with a bead stuck in there, and pull it in. Now, let's have a chat about thinking of buying your first slingshot. Um, if you want to get into shooting and you like whittling, you're an outdoorsy type of person, I can highly recommend going and cutting yourself a natural fork. One of the main reasons for this is it's the cheapest way to get into it. You can buy a couple of sets of bands on Facebook or eBay. You probably get three sets for a tenner or less. Um, another reason is if it's your first slingshot, you don't know what fork width is going to suit you sh your style and your way of shooting better because you haven't developed that yet. Different fork gaps shoot different height. Some will shoot lower, some will shoot higher. All depends on your anchor point and how you're shooting. Now, when you cut a natural fork, you can cut half a dozen and you can make them all a little bit wider, a little bit narrower and experiment. See what suits you best. If you enjoy that and it works for you, um, you can look into oversized forks where you can then cut out things like that from an oversized fork, a little bit more, well, pretty if you like that kind of thing, just different, but basically the same thing. Another way you can make them is board cuts. Highly recommend only using something like a grade A birch ply don't use like a flat piece of oak and cut out of that and expect it to hold with heavy bands. It'll snap. Now, this was about buying your first slingshot and things to consider. Now, there's two different ways bands go on. I haven't got you a TTF frame. There's OTT where the bands go over the top and there's TTF where your bands would go over the side and you'd shoot like that. Now, any of these slingshots will work, but in my honest opinion, if you're looking to buy your very first slingshot, I would go with a wasp. There's three examples here of clipped wasps. We've got the Enzo, we've got the Unifox, and we've got the XO. The reason I would pick those is because on each one you have the option to set up OTT or TTF. Hold on a second. Let me just grab an Allen key and this one here is set up OTT. So when I'm aiming, I'm looking down the bands, which are dead straight. That's my aiming point there, thereabouts. The other way, I now set up frames OTT, but I'll try and do this really quick. And this will show you how quick and easy these are to do and set up. Just take those bands off. Now the clips 
we're up that way. What we're going to do is turn them round there and there. These bands are not made for TTF, but they will do just to show you how it looks. I'm not going to be overly fussy about how I put them in because I'm not going to be shooting this. I'll be putting it back. I don't shoot TTF. An awful lot of people I know who have got into slingshot shooting have found that TTF is easier starting off and they find themselves a little more consistent with it. Should have had this ready, but again, like I said, shows you how quick and easy they are to set up. So that is it. We have now got band set. I hope I've done them up tight enough for this. A band set to shoot TTF. And the centre of the band would become your aim point for left and right. So, OTT. TTF. And that is why I would recommend any of these three wasp slingshots for your first bought slingshot. The fork gap, um, if you've never shot before, it's not all that important. As long as you're shooting at the same place on paper and you can bring those groupings in, you're progressing, you get in there. And then you can start to play about with different frames, different widths. But um, that's my recommendation, guys. I would highly recommend that. If you know you want to be shooting OTT, then something like this, the Dan Layton Slingshot, he's got loads of shapes, sizes and everything. And I tell you what, you will not go wrong for the money. Absolutely perfect. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I've been asked, like I said, several times on what is the best slingshot for a beginner. There's so much to choose from out there. I mean, there's all metal ones with band clips. These ones work a little bit different. You just slacken the nut, push it back to open up the gap, slot your band in there, tighten it back up. Absolutely brilliant. You forget to take an Allen key out in the field, snap a band, you've got a spare set of bands. You don't even need to worry about having a tool to do it. But there is so much to choose from. I can understand it being an absolute minefield if it's something you want to get into, but haven't got any idea. So that was just the point of this video, guys. Um, value for money with these, for under £30, you can get a beginner's kit, which will come with a frame, clips, bands, even some ammo, I think, and you've got everything good to go. So that's the frame covered. Now, something else a lot of people ask is about ammo. Um, a lot of people say to me, what's the heaviest bands, what's the best ammo for hunting? Don't even go there. You haven't got a slingshot yet. Buy a slingshot, learn to shoot it. Um, you need to be very, very efficient with a slingshot before you can go out there and justify pointing it at an animal and trying to take it for the table. So when it comes to bands, my recommendation is something thin. I shoot two different types of bands, 0.55 and 0.5. Now, the 0.55, I shoot 8mm steels, and the 0.5, I shoot 7mm steels. The 0.5 with the 7s, I will only ever use for shooting targets. The 0.55 is ample to actually take small game with, as long as you are pinpoint accurate. But the reason I would say to go for thin bands and smaller ammo is because when you're learning, if you've got, say, a 0.8 band, which you are really uh, struggling to pull, you're going to be less accurate. You're going to hold, hold that a lot less steady than if you've got a really nice thin 0.5 band, super light draw, easy to pull, easy to hold and you're not forcing yourself to hold on to that ammo really over struggling you're not over struggling on anything so band choice is a minefield there's thousands of 
thick or between thicknesses, colours, brands, there's so many options, tapers, everything. It's a minefield. But if you aim for somewhere around the mid-range, a 0.5 band with 7 to 8 steel, because the 0.5 will chuck the 8mm steels fine, um, I just choose to use 0.55, something I've gotten to like. But with your bands, keep it simple, keep it mid-range, keep your ammo big enough to hold on to, but small enough that you don't need a stupidly heavy band to be able to get it to fly straight. Power-wise, when you're learning, um, something that someone said to me a little while ago and it just stuck, if you watch this video, you'll probably remember saying to me, um, when it comes to target shooting, you only need enough power in your bands to get the, the projectile to the target without dipping. So if you're planning on shooting 10 meters, 15 meters, as long as your bands will get it there, you don't need any more. Um, what else can I say? I, I'd like to go on more about the hunting side because especially here in the UK, I see so many people asking, um, I want to buy a slingshot to hunt, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'll do a video more in detail on that again. This was just about the best slingshot for a beginner. Um, I've said it, value for money, with not just the value for money, the options of being able to set up OTT, TTF, the grips, you've got a pinky hole, you can brace grip, you can pinch grip, um, such a versatile frame, does absolutely anything, perfect for target shooting, when you get good enough, when you can hit the target repetitively enough, and when you've got your field craft up to scratch, these are plenty capable of going out and taking a small game. Um, once you've got your slingshot and you're happy with it, it's all about practice, having fun. Um, if you're not hitting targets, you're not ha you won't be having fun. So practice, practice, practice. Um, shoot cardboard, shoot paper, put a dot in it and see where your ammo is aiming. Um, I'm going to leave it at that for today. I've covered the frames, I've covered the types of frames and what I think is the best. Um, I'm going to do another video looking at the basics of hunting. Um, the ethics of hunting and the laws around hunting in the UK, um, what we can and what we can't, coming up soon. Um, I may also do a beginner's video on aiming a slingshot. It's not something I've ever really thought about doing a video about. Um, aiming for me just is something I just got a slingshot, pointed it, let it go, hit, learned from there. Um, but I've learned a lot through playing, so yeah, I will do a video on the basics of aiming, where to start. Um, I hope this video has been helpful for people. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know which one you would pick. Um, if you're a beginner and you make any of these frames, let me know how we uh, make any frames or buy any of these frames. Let me know how it goes. Give me your opinion on them. Um, not much else I can say really, I've covered all, all basics. Anyway, I'm not gonna drag it out guys. Cheers for watching. Get out there, shoot things and have fun. Take it easy guys, peace out.